Let's take a look at how to create failure modes in aligned elements. I have opened a project which has failure mode as a category as well as mitigations. So let's start to create a failure mode by clicking the add button and we get this new form for the failure mode. We can see that the first uh, field here is to uh, write down the failure mode. We can now also in this particular configuration associate it with a component and a function. And once we're done with that, we can now start adding effects and causes. So uh, starting with a cause, I click add and I give it an occurrence or a likelihood or a probability score. Here it's one to five, let's select three. I can add an effect. And I give that a severity score. And we can see now how the effect and the cause is automatically combined in this gris, uh, risk grid at the lower part. And we can also optionally in this configuration add a detection parameter. So I set that as well. Uh, in this particular configuration, the detection value isn't added to the RPN. It's completely up to the customer to decide which parameters to use, which ranges, and how to calculate the non-acceptance or acceptance of a particular risk. Uh, once we get this far, it's time to add some mitigations. I click on this Add button and get access to my existing mitigations if I have any, or as in this case, I just add a new mitigation. And then I add what kind of risk reducing effect this shall have on the original risk. And once that has been added, we can see that it automatically then calculates a new risk score. We'll save this to open it in a wider uh, mode. So going from an original nine, we're now down to six. And we can of course add additional mitigations uh, if that's warranted. So let's add another mitigation. And this might have some additional effect. So you can of course add several effects and several causes to this particular failure mode and have them automatically being permutated down here in the risk grid and add mitigations to each of them. Later on, we will of course trace these mitigations to some kind of either requirement or specification and or test in order to ensure that they are implemented and mitigations. That's how you work with failure modes in aligned elements.